We're going to start tonight with more on a local man's death after he became infected with flesh eating Vibrio bacteria in local waters. That's right. A family member of the victim is telling us more about him and experts are letting you know how to protect yourself from the potential deadly bacteria. Our Nikila Pradier is following the story and joins us from the newsroom with more Nikila. Well, Priscilla, that relative tells us that the man was 70 years old and was from Corpus Christi. He was fishing when he contracted Vibrio bacteria, and in reality, it's a possibility for anyone who's in coastal waters, but there are some ways to prevent an infection from taking a possible deadly turn. What was likely a routine fishing trip for a local man turned tragic last week. A 70-year-old was kayak fishing on Wednesday morning near A&M Corpus Christi, either in Oso Bay or Corpus Christi Bay. Just two days later, he died. A family member says the man had cuts on his legs. The Vibrio bacteria likely entered his body through those open wounds. Usually the skin is your protective surface, and if it's scratched or anything, well, then afterwards you're predisposing yourself to bacteria and viruses that get in. The health department says the victim went to the hospital with severe pain, which is one symptom of Vibrio infection. Others include abdominal cramping, nausea, vomiting, and watery diarrhea. So if you fish or wade in coastal waters, it's important to note that you can't really avoid Vibrio bacteria. It's naturally present in these waters and concentrations are higher during the summer when water temperatures are warmer. But you can reduce your risk of getting infected with Vibrio. Cover your cuts or wounds with waterproof bandages if you come into contact with seawater. If they are exposed, wash the wounds with soap and water or another antiseptic like hydrogen peroxide and watch your wounds for several days after that. You'll be able to see if it gets red, if it heals up correctly, and if it doesn't, go seek care from your doctor. Now, you can also contract Vibrio by eating raw or undercooked shellfish, mostly oysters, and you're also more likely to become infected if you have an underlying health issue like diabetes or liver disease. You can find more information about Vibrio on our website, ChrisTV.com.